Hello everyone, welcome back to another video today. We are working on a, uh, a little monastery that I made in a spruce forest. Um, all made by hand, all custom trees and custom terrain. But uh, this is actually a build that I made quite a while back, um, and I, I haven't really touched it since. But guys, we have a lot of effort put into the atmosphere and the terrain. Um, there's actually quite a bit of terrain work in this one, which uh, I really actually enjoy doing. So it was nice uh, to take a break from building and do some terrain. But yeah, I did do this build quite a while back. So yeah, it's a little outdated in my styles. Like for example, uh, nowadays I do the roofs with chisel bits. But back then when I built this, it was done with uh, without chisel bits. So th that's uh, interesting. There'll be a few little things that look different. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, we'll jump back in at the end and uh, we'll, we'll take a little, little gander, a little, little walkthrough. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the time lapse.
So welcome everyone to Red Pine Cathedral. <laughs> this is a finished product. Um, yeah. Uh, very, very atmospheric. So these, this foliage, I actually used a world edit command um, to kind of, like I covered the area and pasted uh, various different foliage blocks in. Uh, and I think it turned out cool. Very, very nice, very well done, very detailed, and very snowy. <laughs> it's, it is quite snowy up here. And I say up here because, as you guys probably saw in a time lapse, this is kind of leading up to a mountain. I'm not sure if this is very realistic terrain, but we do have a kind of a cliff uh, where it leads up to the cathedral itself. And as you guys can see, yeah, uh, I did notice while editing the video that I did forget to cut out or not cut out but delete these floating trees <laughs> which I use for placeholders in the forest or well, not placeholders uh, all of those trees are just three of those trees which I pasted and rotated in various directions uh, to make it seem like they weren't all just three trees which I, I think the effect uh, comes along quite alright but the main uh, area, which you guys probably noticed by now. The, the main part that this build gets its name from is the Red Pine. Which, of course, this build is called Red Pine Monastery. Um, and it's fairly cool. This was actually an accident because there's, there's kind of a glitch or a bug where these leaves are actually spruce leaves. Or the conquest reforged spruce leaves, and they don't very they don't go very well together with the better foliage mod. Uh, in the in this biome, so they kind of have this this red or orange uh, look to them. Uh, the better foliage part that adds the bushiness to them is red, which I thought it looked quite cool, even though it was an accident. But yeah, it it's kind of a red red pine tree which looks fairly cool and uh yeah let's take a look inside the monastery so it's very gloomy <laughs> well not quite gloomy actually it's moody that's the word As you can see the ceiling actually has these nice arches that keep it from collapsing in on itself and I love these windows so these are the the carved gothic window panes, which are fairly cool. They're, they're clean, in a way. And uh, we, of course, have blue glass. We only have a little bit of. It's fairly cool. Over here would be the, the, the head priest's room, which I haven't detailed, of course, because I never do interiors. But that would be that. And the most unique thing about this, which you don't really see done in many other churches, is the stair tower, the external stair tower, which definitely isn't realistic. So before you realism nerds jump on me and say, hey, that's not realistic. It is. Well, no, it's not. It's, but I did it. Anyway, this stair tower would be a way to get up to the second floor because me, being an idiot, forgot to plan out a stair tower in the church itself. So I, you know, I cheated a little. But yeah, that stair tower basically just leads up to the second floor, which I'll show you now. We can get up there. Is empty. <laughs> yeah, interiors, by the way. Yeah, it's fairly cool, unique. Um, adds a bit of character to it, as well as the red pine tree. And, uh, of course, the mountain leads to more mountains uh, that aren't complete. Yep, they, yeah, they aren't complete. And, uh, but yeah, I was, I was excited to get this video out to you guys. <laughs> so, I, I, I guess that's why I can say I didn't complete it. Not that I worked on this project months ago and then I uh, didn't continue it. 
ago I didn't continue it. But thank you guys for tuning into the video. And thank you guys for remembering to actually like and subscribe, because that's important. So this project I'm actually willing to do a part 2 on, if you guys did do enjoy this one. So make sure you comment and say that you guys did enjoy it, and that you want a part 2, because then I'll do a part 2. Make sure to also like and subscribe when you're down there. But yeah, thank you everyone for stopping by. Um, this was quite the project, even though I can barely even remember making it. But yeah, hope you guys all had a good time. <laughs> That's the first fucking outro. <laughs> thank you guys, like and subscribe. Happy well.